so uh, now we uh, will continue uh, with how to make the set for uh, both the uh, volute and the input so uh, from here you uh, right click and transfer data to new CFX okay and uh, this uh, know that the uh, impeller is imported to the CFX but we want to add the volute also so we, we uh, click hold the click on this and drag it to here okay for the setup click right click and edit Uh, as you uh, see here the impeller uh, only is, uh, is shown in CFX solver so this is because the uh, update is not uh, the mesh folder root is not updated so we should close this and go back and update the mesh For here we uh, set reset, okay, and we open it again. Now uh, you have the impeller and the volute, uh, they are both uh, lying on the uh, same axis of rotation as you can see here which is uh, z-axis and also uh, what we have done is that uh, from importing from uh, the uh, CF turbo uh, we know that uh, the impeller and the volute exist, uh, exist uh, on the same origin so uh, when you import these files uh, as uh, the method we have shown uh, there would be a uh, no issue for you you won't uh, see uh, the impeller uh, in here or in here now you will see the impeller and the volute lying on the same axis okay so uh, here uh, as we have uh, explained that we are uh, making a simulation of blood so uh, for plot, uh, which is uh, not common material for uh, CFD software, so we have to insert a plot. Okay. So uh, from here, insert and uh, choose a material. We uh, name it plot. Okay. Uh, we go here to uh, material properties. For here. Uh, we chose it to be 64500 uh, uh, kilogram uh, per uh, kilomole or gram per mole and for the density uh, we choose it to be 1050 kilogram uh, per uh, meter cubic uh, okay uh, uh, these are uh, sufficient data for uh, the simulation but uh, sometimes uh, software uh, requires additional uh, information so uh, for the specific heat uh, we choose it to be 4000 which is the unit of joule per kilogram per kelvin and uh, uh, for uh, we choose the uh, dynamic we choose the dynamic viscosity to be uh, 0.0035 which is uh, in the unit of 
kilogram per meter per second okay so um, uh, this is based on uh, our uh, research we got these values but uh, as you know it's it's all average value were approximated uh, okay so uh, apply okay okay uh, so uh, as we know uh, uh, the CFX uh, is a good solver uh, so uh, here is a very uh, special tool uh, for the uh, turbo mode we choose it so as we have said uh, uh, here we have defined the pump uh, for uh, the impeller before uh, okay uh, so it's based on coordinate and uh, rotational axis that uh, okay we choose next uh, okay, uh, so uh, we he have here two uh, components. We have we have here the impeller with it, which is the rotating component, and we have the valute which is the stationary component. So uh, for the uh, impeller, we uh, choose it to be rotating. Okay, uh, so uh, rotating with uh, four thousand RPM. Okay. But uh, as you can see here, uh, uh, it's in the wrong uh, rotation. It should be rotating in this way for the outlet of the load. So uh, we will uh, choose it to negative uh, 4000. Okay. And uh, we can see here if uh, the domain is selected for the impair and the volute. So we want to select uh, the impeller only as we uh, select uh, here we, sel uh, we unchecked uh, the uh, P33 which is the load we unchecked it sorry uh, pressing control and uncheck P33 okay pressing okay uh, also uh, we want to create a, a domain for the load so right click on component add component we choose component to be stationary okay name is S1 okay so uh, here uh, we uh, choose it to be the P33 and uh, the assembly or assembly tool I, uh, I don't recommend that you uh, should use it just use P33 okay so we have here the rotating component we have here the stationary component okay next uh, the fluid uh, we choose it to be plot as we have defined before Reference pressure is uh, set to one uh, atmosphere. So it's okay. Well, we don't uh, use heat transfer equation here. Turbulence is set to uh, k epsilon, or uh, shear stress transport, which I recommend to use uh, shear stress transport for uh, our study. It was most common. Uh, so um, this is very important. Inlet outflow outflow. Uh, uh, boundary condition so here uh, what we have chosen is um, B total and let mass flow out so uh, as most common for pump the uh, flow rate you know the flow rate which is inlet to uh, the pump but you want uh, through the uh, CFD simulation we want you want the uh, uh, the pressure outlet of the pump so uh, for the inflow pump, uh, we chose it to be uh, 1066.6, uh, which is in Pascal. Uh, so how did we get this value? Okay, uh, so as we have explained here, we uh, knew the, uh, that uh, our pump will be connected from the inflow from the left ventricle to the outflow which is the award so the inflow is between 3 to 12 millimeter mercury we take an average value so it's about uh, 8 millimeter mercury 
L8 millimeter mercury uh, is about uh, uh, 1000 uh, uh, 1066.6 Pascal okay uh, for the outflow uh, we uh, we know that uh, our time condition is based on 5 liter per minute when you uh, uh, change it to a uh, kilogram of mass flow rate kilogram per second so a uh, flow rate a liter per minute you uh, multiply it by uh, 10 power negative 3 and divided by 60 so you have a uh, uh, flow rate in a uh, a meter uh, cubic per second so if you multiply it by uh, density which we here uh, choose it to be 1050 you will get a mass flow rate so uh, uh, at last you will get the mass flow rate of 0.0875 I guess uh, unit is kilogram per second uh, okay uh, for the interface uh, you choose a frozen router uh, this is the interface between the impeller and the uh, volute okay um, and uh, here you can uh, select it uh, per machine okay next so uh, we have the interfaces here Uh, now uh, we have to create uh, a new boundary uh, for uh, the uh, volute. Uh, so uh, name uh, we shall name it volute outlet, and it's uh, in uh, S1, which is a volute. Okay, so uh, type is uh, outlet, uh, location is here, we have defined it from the mesh. Okay, uh, so for the volute outlet, uh, we know uh, that uh, we chose it for mass flow rate outlet, and uh, mass flow rate is 0.0875. Next, uh, so uh, here we have to delete uh, this boundary. It is the outlet, so we have inlet and outlet, one inlet and one outlet. Okay, and uh, if we uh, we have also to define the interface uh, between the impeller and the volute. Okay, uh, so uh, we change it to a uh, frozen router between between this part. Volute inlet and this part, which is the should be the outflow passage. Okay, okay, so I guess he already made. Uh, the uh, volute outlet okay it's all right uh, he already made the uh, volute outlet boundary okay okay to solve this uh, no okay uh, 
uh, to solve this uh, no not this outlet it's made for as it specified you see uh, the error messages given okay uh, so For uh, the solver control, uh, we uh, choose it to be 1000 or for this study you should use it for 600 iterations with uh, RMS values of uh, 0.005 Ok, apply uh, So uh, to monitor the uh, results, uh, we choose a monitor. Uh, we want to uh, monitor the pressure at uh, this point. Okay, as you can see, it's already been detected. Okay. Okay, apply. So you see the point. So we have to make it like this. Okay. You can now uh, monitor the uh, pressure. Apply. Okay. So uh, save this. Out. For a solution. Edit. Okay, uh, we choose it to be a uh, local parallel. I have a Core i5, so uh, I will have uh, a four uh, four partitions as working. You can check it by using here Task Manager and uh, see uh, how many logical cores you have. So I will set it to four. Okay, start run.